Yo, what's up guys? Welcome to another video. So, this is a completely different type of video for my channel and I've actually had a lot of people reach out to me in regards to this. So, I want to show you guys a different way on how to organize your Marvel Legends. So, you know, for me personally, I actually don't like having crazy full shelves and look at that how funny am i saying that i'm saying that now because after putting all my figures on the shelves and just having them packed up i'm honestly discovering that i'm not a fan of that style so coming from me guys a little bit of context i before collecting i actually was a minimalist so i loved empty looking shelves i loved intentional displays and you know collecting it's fun but it can get overwhelming so my goal with collecting was you know getting everything that i liked but also in a more organized manner so i would like to try to figure out ways to you know kind of balance the two things because it's complete opposite right two different theories right you're either if you're a minimalist you don't have a lot or if you're a collector you have way too much so we got to do the whole thanos thing we got to find a balance here and you know i think this might be my happy medium right here so i've had an interesting problem and i feel like a lot of people do when they start collecting like marvel legends black series or gi joes whatever you know what do you do with the packaging something i've been discovering as a collector right now is stuff that i want to keep in box versus open so I know that's a very controversial thing among the whole collector's communities, you know, people kind of bash on each other. Openers versus sealed collectors, mint on card, you know, I get it. I understand it. I sometimes I'll pick up a figure, I don't want to open it and I'll drag on opening that figure. But you know, I'm finding recently more joy in opening all my figures personally. I will make exceptions on like a couple of figures that are a little more special to me like this one for example I'm gonna keep sealed at least for now and I will keep its packaging number one it's Miles Morales I'm a big fan of Miles Morales number two uh, this was actually my very first Marvel Legends figure ever <laughs> so uh, if you don't know too much I did join on the Marvel Legends game pretty late and also uh, if you follow me on Instagram uh, my original Miles Morales got destroyed by my dog, so my girlfriend, well, she was my girlfriend at the time, now fiance, she felt bad and she ordered this one for me right away. So this one's a little more special to me. So in cases like these, I'm going to keep this sealed and if I open it, I will keep this box. So this is more sentimental to me. Let's get right on to what's going on here. Sorry for the rambling, but we got these clear bags here and I think this is gonna be kind of the ideal thing for me. So I cut the borders on these and I'll actually show you where I cut it. So what I do here is I actually cut where this tag meets right there. I just do one cut across and I actually cut it right up top here. So you can see it's evident Let's see, scrolling right here, right there, and right over here. So it actually fit this perfectly. Um, you might be wondering where I got these bags. So I actually found these bags from Dork Lair. Uh, YouTuber Dork Lair, if you guys know him, he, he actually came up with the idea of organizing Mythic Legions, and I figured it would work well with the Marvel Legends. So I got these on clearbags.com. I think. Uh, 100 pieces at this size six uh, by nine uh, Came out around like 25 bucks 27 bucks. I'm not sure how much I paid for it But it was around that but I think it works for a lot of these figures in general Because what I want to do and at least what I plan on doing is I think I want to keep a lot of these in Like a bin right there and I'll show you how I'm gonna keep them in the bin And then I want to take them out and bring out scenes individually more of a rotating display that's kind of my goal because I feel like every time I look at it, it's almost like art, right? If you're an artist, you know, I feel like you never stick to one piece of art on your wall forever. I feel like it changes with the seasons and that's what I want to do with my display. That's going to kind of be my goal for my new place. Like right now, I'm kind of just 
discovering my figures, I think, and discovering my own personal collection. So everyone's different. I'll just say that right now. Everyone has different theories. A lot of people like having all their figures out displayed. Personally, I like more of an action-oriented display. Maybe I'm gonna add more diorama pieces, but you know, sometimes I'm feeling the Guardians. Some, day, some days I might just be feeling like Spider-Man. You know, I wanna be able to have that flexibility and freedom. So that's the whole reason why I decided to organize it this way. And yeah, I'm actually a really big fan of these. So let me let me toss these in the bin real quick so you guys can see how they look in the bin. This thumb isn't perfect and obviously some packages I don't have the backing. So I decided to just keep all the accessories in there with it without any backing on some of these figures. So this Spider-Man, for example, Ben Riley, and uh, also, you know, zombie cap. So Another thing too is I like to keep the Build-A-Figure parts with them. Here you go, you know, like I said, if you follow my Instagram stories, I've talked about this pretty much uh, previously. So make sure you follow me at nolan.collect if you want to see that. Pretty active on there, but yeah, you can take a look. It's kind of like a toy chest in a way, right? Like, so you have these on the side. And if I'm feeling a certain theme, if I want to, like, if I'm watching a movie and I'm getting inspired by, like, Doctor Strange, I can whip out all the Strange figures. Like, let's whip out Wanda. Let's get all our Doctor Stranges out. Let's bring out all the stuff and let's display it on a clean shelf and, you know, put some stands up, have a good time with it. And then when I'm done with them, I can put them back in there and keep it organized. So I'm not sure what I'm going to be doing with my Star Wars yet, but at least with the Marvel Legends and the Mythic Legions, I really like these clear bags. So I'll leave a link in the description. So if you guys are interested in checking those out, I mean, feel free to, you know, I'm not sponsored by them. This is just something how I decided that I found from another YouTuber. And if it helps you keep organized or helps you kind of, you know, change the way you think about your displays, I mean, great. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. It is definitely a different type, you know, so not my usual content so maybe a one-off if you guys like videos like these let me know in the comments below drop a like too i literally go based on likes what you guys like what i try to produce so that's gonna be it for this video hope you guys enjoyed it leave a like thumbs up subscribe if you want to see more catch you guys next time peace